Literally, what is up, guys? This is the biggest day of KT9. Number one, we're gonna bring on a student who finds products, he stumbles across like $40,000 products. Then, we are going to announce the biggest thing that has happened on KT9 yet. If you're here, you're in the right place. Let's do this. All right, guys, so one of the things that we want to do on KT9 is we want to be as authentic, yeah. as genuine exactly. as we possibly can. We never want to lead anybody astray. We never want to do this, but we are just, we are so, so excited. excited about this video, about what's happening right now. Yeah. And so we actually have an announcement for you guys and we don't want it to be weird. We just want, like, I, I, I can't explain. I feel weird, I feel weird because I'm so excited, number one, because we worked on this for months. Yeah. And like months. Blood, sweat, and tears to make this happen. But at the same time, I feel weird because I don't want to be salesy. Correct. I don't want to lead anyone. I don't want to repeat the mistakes of other people on yeah. YouTube. But at the same time, we have to tell you guys something. We just do. So the announcement that we have, maybe you've noticed already the little the little teaser on the uh, on the hoodies here. But uh, we are proud to announce KT9 in association with Honey Badger Boost, me and Kale, that we're launching a course, and it is live right now. And it's called Nine University, as you can see right here. So here's the deal, guys. We don't have to sell you on it. The thing is, is that we spent, the only reason we made it, the only reason we did this is because we get so many messages. Like yep. we underestimated the fact, like when we started this channel, we were like, all right, we'll teach people how to do Amazon FBA. We'll be able to promote Honey Badger. It'll be great. We underestimated 100% the, how awesome you guys are. Yep. And the fact that you're messaging us every single day, we can't keep up. It's physically impossible. So the thing is, is that 99% of the questions are the same. Yep. So we were like, why don't we create a step-by-step -step guide so that those questions can be answered and then we can focus on the 1% that is not answered and that you can have an actual mentor who's actually there for you. So that is exactly why this was born. That's why we got these sweatshirts. Yeah, I mean, it's nine you. It is, it is, it's insane. There are over 150 videos. It's uh, like it's 15, 15 plus, plus, hours. plus hours. Like the amount of time that we spent to film it, to edit it, we didn't do it, you know, for us. There were nights where we didn't sleep. There were yeah. like things that we didn't do. We did it because we want to do everything we can to help you. There's, uh, we've talked about Gary Vee a little bit before, but Gary Vee has this quote and he says, there are too many people who get hung up on trying to do everything themselves. And that's when you get hung up in the limelight, you get hung up on cash, you get hung up on money, and you won't see success that way. Yeah. The best way to have success in life is to go do something and bring as many people as possible with you. And that's what we want to do. So. We're not trying to sit here and sell you on it. We're not trying to sit here and tell you that it's better than everything ever. I mean, it, it kind of is. is, but <laughs> like, we're not trying to sell you on it. Yeah. The link is www.9university.com, all spelled out. And um, go check it out if you want to. I mean, I also wanna, I do wanna give this little caveat, okay? The first 25 people get this sweatshirt. And it's it's literally champion, it's the best, like, like it's, it's, it's a so nice warm, I'm like sweating in here. Like it is a nice sweatshirt. So first 25, I will ship it to all. I literally have a guy who's, who I talked to yesterday who wants it and I'm gonna ship it to Australia. <laughs> so it's nice. gonna cost us more than the sweatshirt or whatever. But the other caveat that I wanna add in and then we're gonna get into this video because it's so sick is YouTube is not changing. Yeah. KT9 is a huge priority for us. Yes. Creating amazing content, continue to bring content, continue to help you guys through KT9 on YouTube. That's not going anywhere, it's not changing. And so with that, let's get into this video because I'm telling you, my Watch man my man Troy is incredible. Watch this dude, he's freaking dope. Let's, let's go. do it. All right, so today we have the most Woo! amazing opportunity chance. Yes. So we thought that instead of making like another video of like- They're sick me, of looking at us. Right, look me and Kale problems. doing something. Yeah. Instead of doing that, what we're actually gonna do is we have our boy Troy on here. Say what's up Troy, to the people, Troy. 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 What's up, everyone? Hey. Yeah, Troy is awesome. So Troy is one of our students. He's kind of getting started. Yep. He's He is like, he's killing it with project research. He is on our Facebook group. He's He he's contributes all the time. Genius. He I is. I think he's a genius. I think he is. And we're gonna hype him like that. And he's gonna show you guys how to use 
viral launch software because we don't really use it a lot. And no. we figured that some of our students, a lot of our students still use this software. And why not show you guys how to find dope products by the master himself? Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And so, you know, instead of watching us do it, we're going to have Troy do it. So, Troy, why don't you um just kind of introduce yourself real quick and then kind of just, I don't know, give us like an overview, like, you know, where are you at with your Amazon FBA business kind of before we jump right into the product research part? Okay, so my name is Troy. Um, I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Um, I'm a IT manager during the day. Dope. And uh, I am just now getting to the phase where I'm actually contacting suppliers looking for the best product. So I'm still very early into it, but I have found so many products and helped so many people out that it, it's just that I've kind of fallen into a specialty. Mm -hmm. so. That's great. So why, so kind of, I guess, why did you decide to like dive so deep into product research? Like what kind of drew you to it? Why do you, why do you like it so much? Why are you so good at it? Well, I think it has a lot to do with what I do for work. Uh, as an IT manager, I always have end users who are breaking things. So I'm always <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> Uh, looking for replacement parts or looking for computers or cell phones or things of yeah. that nature. So it's really second nature to me. And then gotcha. when I stumbled across uh, products like Viral Launch, that just took took it to a whole new level. Dope. Good for you, man. So yeah, that's the plan. Really, honestly, just go through your process, show the people what you do. And then we're going to kind of like interview you as you go, just kind of pick your brain because I'm sure people are gonna be wanting to ask you questions, so we're gonna to try to ask the questions for them. Yep. Okay. Okay, so uh, here we are in our main viral launch screen, and I'm on the search category. Um, oh. How I find everything is I use just the keyword portion of viral launch. I don't mess with product, brand, or category. I don't mess so, with any of that. so just for the people, what's the difference between the product, keyword, brand, and category? So product will give you a list of exact products and keyword will give you the keyword that as it fits into uh, the Amazon listing. Gotcha. That makes awesome. sense. Okay, okay. cool. Uh, and then brands just find brands and then categories find categories. So I mean, uh, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're trying to find this, you go to product discovery, search keyword, what is kind of like the first step? Because right here, you know, we've we've looked at before Jungle Scout like web app, and then this is in product discovery. So what do you what do you do from here? So what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to get products that most closely fit the seven for seven model. Okay. And the way I do that is by adjusting the filters. Okay. So I look for products usually between $17 and a max of oh, about $35. Okay. okay. And so I don't mess with average monthly revenue and I don't mess with average monthly sales. But what I do mess with is average review count. And I want that to be... I want to be shown keyword products that have under 75 reviews typically. Yep. So yep. I try to dial that in by putting in 60. Okay, cool. And then I could either go through all the ungated categories and check them, or what I like to do is just do them one by one. Okay. Uh, okay. And so let's just go ahead and do baby here. So that's that's the only filters that you're using on viral launches, basically just reviews and then the average price, and then the category. There are other cat, you know, advanced filters that we can mess with. Um, average net profit is a nice one. So I don't want to be looking at all the scrub products. Right. So I'll put in a average net profit of around three thousand. Gotcha. If you go any higher than that, it tends to show you less results. So I'm I'm okay. looking for a very specific area, and then that I use these to try and target that. Got you. Cool. So then That's what I do cool. is I filter by average reviews. I want to see the products that have the least amount of reviews, 
but also keeping in mind the average revenue over here. Interesting. Okay. okay. So I don't know if you guys know this, but whenever you see this, it mm -hmm. means that more than 200 people on viral launch are looking at the same thing. Gotcha. Oh, wow. So that's a no, no, probably. So that's a no, no. So that's a product that you want to avoid because it's about to become oversaturated very gotcha. quickly. Makes sense. And then what I do is I just kind of go through these products one by one. And, oh, this is something you guys used to sell, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> it is. That's, that's why they have one review because they keep getting taken down. <laughs> so that would be a no-no. I'll just kind of no. go through here. And I know you guys use Jungle Scout, and I use it somewhat, too. Okay. Here's another trick of the trade. Jungle Scout only gets updated once a week and once a month, whereas huh. Viral Launch's web app gets updated daily. So the revenue numbers are actually more accurate. Cool. The review quantities are the same, but the actual revenue is better. So when I'm hunting for the 7 for 7, now I come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, three. Mm -hmm. Some of these are pretty close. So, so right there, it was three over five thousand in revenue, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight with under seventy-five reviews. Yeah, for people who mm -hmm. haven't seen the channel before, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for products that have seven out of the top 10 of the revenue side to be above 5,000 in revenue, and then seven out of the top 10 in the review side to be less than 75 reviews. So that's what he's talking about with the seven and seven rule. Probably should have clarified that earlier, yeah. but that's what that is. Yeah. So this one, you know, there's a few results that are just missing on it. Right. I wouldn't discount this product right off the bat. What I would do instead is pin it okay you go to pin keywords and then you go to pinned ideas and what you can do is if this ever loads you can monitor these ideas you can monitor these products over time so that if it actually does get up in revenue then you can jump in it got you that makes sense cool yeah you got the spinning wheel of death there buddy <laughs> my goodness it's not a microsoft thing i can assure you <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because he's got so many pinned ideas that like it takes forever it's to load. Confused, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So, <laughs> all right, just don't. You don't have to explain to us. Go through here and and do what you would do and find a good one. Um, just see see what you can do. I just want to see what you can do live and see what these people see if they can follow along on your process. Okay. So. so we should just like narrate it. So he pulls up viral launch. <laughs> man, he looks at the monthly revenue. What does he do then? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine. Oh, he found eight in the top 10 of the revenue category. And then he goes over to the reviews. What do we see there? Oh, five, good. Six. So this one is oh. extremely close. Wow. So this one's seven and six. So can you explain to us why like eight and nine are red? Like why it, why it's not counting those? So according to Viral Launch, these are the people that are using Facebook advertising or oh. out, outsourcing their advertising. And so their numbers could be inflated. Interesting. Weird. I wonder how they figured that out. That's so interesting. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, so but, that, I mean, that was quick. That was literally three seconds after I told him to find a product, he found one. And yeah. if you look on, if you look at the screen right now, product idea scores five stars. You kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. Yeah, but you really do. It's Mostly. actually, it's actually kind of funny, Troy, because somebody, one of our students actually sent me this baby milestone blanket, like probably a week or two ago. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually went and looked at it then. But yeah, I mean... This is a, uh, so this one is basically there. It, I think it was missing one mm -hmm. on revenue. So it's yeah. like six and seven or six and eight, something Looks like that. Looks like a home run. Looks like the, a home run. The um, interesting thing I like to look to is something that is not, it has nothing to do with numbers is I like to look at the pictures on the side and think to myself, because obviously we own Honey Badger Boost. 
So I'm always thinking photography and I'm thinking how, if we, if we got into this category, could we kill people with our photography? Like, could we do awesome and yeah. just beat them? And I think this is kind of a case where you could like that Amazon's choice one is just a basic picture. There's not even a baby in that picture. You know right, what I mean? Like right. you could demonstrate that a lot better. So interesting. Yeah. And especially useful information, especially for you guys at Honey Badger is this kind of information. Yep. You know, that you would need 10 to 20 giveaways to rank in the top five. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And you can also cross-reference that with seller.tools, which will give you a more accurate rating. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, interesting. Cool. Mm -hmm. Go back. See if you can do another one. Let's let's just keep going. Keep all this right. fresh. Let's uh let's switch categories up. Go to a different category that's not baby. Let's just I don't all know. All right. Whatever you want to go to. Let's do da, 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 home and kitchen. Cool. Okay. It's weird because I see his mouse over yeah, there. Yeah, you're for some reason your mouse is like <laughs> lagging. It's so like we see you click things, but, but your like mouse a, isn't where you click. It's like a ghost doing it. It's kind of cool. You're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep doing you. No worries. All right. So let's see here. Look at so the people who are watching, he didn't change any of the filters, anything like that. No. All he did was change the categories, and he's just going in. What are you? Seeing what else what are you got. looking for on this screen, buddy? I can't. I'm. I'm not seeing what you're seeing here so i know that this this 31 lunch bags that is a brand yeah yeah i'm avoiding these um okay. i see things like repair cream I, I don't want to sell anything that goes on somebody's skin or in them right agreed um so i'm looking for things that i think could be small that could fit in the size of a shoe box so you're looking so you're really looking at the name you're not really looking at you the numbers are already filtered where you need them to be right. so you're really just looking at the names on the left right gotcha. and then when i get curious I'll, I'll click on something interesting okay so then what i do is i just kind of scroll down a little bit and look at the reviews yeah and then i'll launch my tool here Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, look at you. Okay, that's, I mean, look at the number. That guy number three is doing $39,000 with 27 reviews. So if you guys get mad that I do clickbait thumbnails, my man just found a $40,000 product in 15 seconds. Yeah. Like, come on, man, that's dope. Yeah. And with these settings, you should be able to just accidentally stumble across at least 10 a day. Wow. That's accidentally. So cool. that's crazy. That's awesome. That's game changing, man. So this is this is an actual plant, I guess, but artificial plant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Artificial greenery. And I've actually already looked up these in uh, Alibaba and most mm -hmm. of them cost 10 to 20 cents. So the ROI in that category alone is over four to 500%. Woo, now yeah. you're talking. That's awesome, man. All right, should we keep going or should we do something else? Let's do uh, let's do one more in a, in a different category. Let's go to um, do industrial and scientific just because I love that category with a, yeah. I love it so much. Okay. It's like such a weird niche category yeah. that like mm -hmm. I've, I've heard people, I've heard like podcasts and YouTube stuff. I've heard people say like the weirder the product is that you can find, like a lot of times the better it's going to do because it you won't have as much competition, that kind of thing. So yeah, I love looking in industrial well, and scientific. Yeah, I think about it. Like people are looking at, they're like, I can't sell that. I have no idea what that is. And then, you, and then they don't, you know what I mean? What is that? Shopping bags? White Shopping craft bags. paper bags. Yeah. I mean, you have to really compete on quantity for sure. Wow. Yeah. So this one just kind of piqued my interest. So I thought I'd throw it up and have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Seven. And that one's missing. So yeah, seven for seven. Wow. And that first, there's one guy doing, well, I mean, the first guy's got a lot of reviews, $66,000, but mm -hmm. I mean, there's a guy doing 12,000 with 65 reviews, 10,000 with 27. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. And this is like a, this is like a product that like, 
you would never be like, I'm going to sell packs of 100 bags. You know <laughs> right. what I mean? Yeah, like, you would never think of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And there's so many different bags. I mean, this is a product that I've run into before in the past. And here's a little hint. You don't have to buy this stuff in China. There's plenty of manufacturers here in the States that make paper bags. Yeah, agreed. That's so, super agreed. true. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, go back and um, throw throw on another filter maybe. Like, uh, did you say there was one about, um, what did you say there was? Oh, you already did average net profit. Okay. Is there any other things you ever do, you ever change? I occasionally will look at seasonal products just okay. because where I live in San Antonio, there isn't really a season. So it's kind of like open game for everything. Hmm. But in industrial and scientific, there isn't anything. Yeah, that one may be kind of hard. That might be weird. Yeah, I like this because it's, it's going against the grain for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. like our theme. For sure. Mm -hmm. So we kind of looked at these already. So maybe this. So it's just another, like, that's like a longer tail keyword, really, is what yeah. that is. Right. Yeah. One, two, one, three, four, two, five, three, six, four, seven, four, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, what? One, two, no, nine three, out of ten four, reviews. Four, five, five, six, seven. It's like six and six and nine. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. And just these little, I've actually seen this one, too. I think someone sent me this one. 19. I mean, 13,000 on 26 reviews. Also another great product that you can take great pictures with. And it's something where it's like, where do you look to artificial greenery? Now it's, I don't even, artificial succulent plants. Like mm -hmm. when you get, when you find a product that has multiple keywords that are either at seven and seven or really, really close to seven and seven, mm -hmm. then that like blows up, like, you know, you're not really finding one product. You're really finding two or three products that can all be in the same listing. So your reviews will add up. Yep. You don't have to do as many giveaways, all that kind of stuff. So this is, this is pretty cool. This is cool. Yeah. So this would be one that I would uh, definitely pin and just monitor. Right. So uh, yeah, let's, let's see if the pinned ideas actually work now. Yep. There they are. So, okay. so Troy, um, do you ever use um, market intelligence or are you just using product discovery? Just product discovery. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. I, I use that when I want to dive a little bit deeper into something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Um, I mean, I feel like, I feel like he's gone through, I feel like he showed us like a couple products um, at least one or two that all meet the seven for seven, a couple yeah. other ones that are all around it. And I like what you're saying where, you know, when you kind of get, get this kind of filtered in and get it kind of set up, you know, you can kind of just stumble rock. upon products. And I love this because product research, we talk about this all the time, but product research is something that people have like yeah, the most with issue it. with. People yeah. are like, Oh, how do I, how do I do it? How I can't find, I've been looking for a month. I yeah. can't find anything. And Troy's just like, yeah, cool. Put in a couple numbers and then hit the button and then like scroll down like two inches and then you have a product. Exactly. It's so cool. And I mean, I, I get when people want to just like, just like get a product or like pay someone to find it for them. And you can do that with us or you can do that, whatever. But um, it is really cool how you can just like the way that he's using this software. Right. Right. I right. Really love it. And another thing I'd like to add is you can get a free trial to viral launch. And even though it will limit the amount of roof, uh, products it'll show you it still shows you profitable things in mm -hmm. the in that uh, free time period yeah so so dope yeah so dope um all right you have any give the give the people a couple i don't know just words like words of advice words yeah. of encouragement with product research any nuggets anything you, you want to say this is your this is your time bro so what i would say is when you're doing product research go into it with a positive atmosphere. Nice. Uh, what I like to do is I just like to close the doors to my office. I'll put on some music, just relax, have a little drink. Nice. <laughs> he makes it sound so awesome. I know, right? Keep going. This it is. is and it's so relaxing because I, you know, like I said, I can just turn this on, dial it in, play with the settings and I'll accidentally find 10 products in an hour, Yeah, you know? So, so cool. Once you get in that positive mind frame, you know, things just start happening. And 
people ask me all the time how I find things, and I, I tell them all the time, just be that 12-year-old version of yourself that used to be so curious about everything. Oh, because really once good. you open yourself up to that, the possibilities are endless with this. Dope. That's really, really That's good. Cool. That's cool. So, That's some motivation. So Troy is obviously on our Facebook group. He talks to people all the time. Um, if you want to, there'll be a link to the Facebook group and all kinds of stuff. But I know that Troy, you have like a YouTube channel where you talk about all kinds of stuff. You talk about like Amazon FBA, you talk about cryptocurrency, you talk about a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. and that's just Troy talks, right? Yeah. It says Troy talks on YouTube. Sorry. Okay. Awesome. And then I know sometimes you'll like post in the group that you're like live streaming on Twitch, you're doing something. So guys check out Troy. He's awesome. He's, he's fantastic. And I know that like, you know, he's, he's gotten so good at this product research thing and he's kind of in this process right now where, you know, Troy is going and contacting suppliers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And man, I just can't wait to see, you know, what you do moving yeah. forward with Amazon FBA and whatever, Same. whatever we can do to help you out. Let us know, man. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. For awesome. Coming. Thanks for taking the time. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me guys. Awesome. All right. Well, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And I'm doing something cool now because I'm going to throw up these suggested videos like right here. Like bam, 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 click bam. right here if you want to see something else cool from KT9. And then also there's Did a button voice? There's a button hovering over, over your head. Subscribe. You literally just hit here and you can subscribe to the channel. I'm real right, techy. That's getting, the only getting, tech thing I've ever getting, done. You're getting real salesy right now. I could be salesy about our channel. Let's all right, you're right. Come That's on, only because it's so good. See you guys. Thank you. Boom. <laughs>